You know what? Living in a 21st century is so depressing. Because if there's one thing that the internet produces more efficiently than a factory in Asia, it's toxicity. Because the amount of stimulating reactions I've gotten to having the audacity to say that the new RTX 3090 card and other RTX 3000 cards from Nvidia that are supposedly coming really soon are not overpriced because, surprise surprise, they are not. But yes, it is true that cards have gotten quite a bit more expensive in recent years. But why is that and is there a good reason for it apart from just Nvidia becoming more greedy as all these people tend to say? And there are quite a few good reasons for why these cards are so expensive and why we better just get used to it. Firstly of course, the technology has gone a long way. And each card is coming with more silicon and more complex silicon in it. Just look at the fact that the 2080 Ti had 11 gigabytes of VRAM and now the 3090 supposedly has 24 gigabytes of VRAM. That in itself of course requires more modules going onto PCB itself and also it's a way better memory as well as it's GDDR6X which is a whole new standard of memory that of course because of it is way harder to manufacture and is way more expensive because of it. Not to mention that just R&D costs in general are going way up. I know I've shown this clip in my previous video when I was talking about this which I highly recommend you check it out it's gonna be up in the iCards but just listen to it. This is Jensen from Nvidia talking about how huge R&D costs are getting for them and this is back in 2017. This, um, well, the R&D budget is uh, approximately $3 billion, and this is the first one. So it, if anyone would like to buy this, it's $3 billion. And one of the funniest things that people just don't seem to consider when they just want to bash Nvidia for the greed is what allows them to even have prices that big. Because you know what the main reason why Nvidia is allowed to have such high prices? With reports of having up to 100% profit margin. Do you know why when you're, for example, in an airplane, all the food on the menu is so expensive compared to stuff on the ground? Because they have no competition. So instead of just constantly bashing Nvidia, why don't you use some of that energy towards AMD for not producing any high-end cards? Because you notice that in the lower end, where there's a lot more competition coming from AMD, Nvidia is way more likely to drop their prices, and they have been doing that already because there's actual competition. While in the high end, AMD hasn't really produced any real Nvidia killer cards since probably what, the Radeon Fury X in 2015? That is a long time since Nvidia has seen any real threat to their market share in the high end. So of course, they can allow themselves to pump up the prices because no one else can provide you with that kind of performance apart from them. And yes, if you really hate the prices, you can go AMD instead or go with some older Nvidia cards, but then you simply won't get the new and amazing performance that will come with the RTX 3000 cards. I don't know, I just find this whole argument about it completely dumb and I'll probably make a few more videos about this because it is completely dumb. And what I also find hilarious is how many people say that I just love and worship Nvidia and that I'll get an RTX 3090 on launch no matter what the price. But surprise surprise, I can't afford an RTX 3000 card, even the cheapest one, unless my channel grows exponentially by the time they're released. Or if all of you amazing people support my channel on Patreon, link in the video description down below by the way, it really does go a long way. And of course if I were to get one, I would do a review of it on this channel. And that doesn't mean they're overpriced. They're just for people who can afford them. And for those people, the savings are huge compared to RTX 2000. So let me know what you think of this dumb situation. And hey, if you want me to like read, react, and you know, disprove some of these comments left by those people who think those cars are overpriced, then I should have a video coming about it really soon. So subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it. It's gonna be a sweet video. Is it thundering outside? Huh. Anyway. Like I said, I also do have a Patreon if you want to check it out down in the video description below. Even one dollar a month goes a long way in helping out my channel and making it way better. Down there you also find a link to my Discord if you want to talk to me, it was about this or whatever else really. And I think that's really it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like whatever, and I'll see you all in what I'll make next. Goodbye everyone. Goodbye.